Today I'm going to take you through a 20 minute intermediate calisthenics workout that you can do at home with no equipment. This is a follow along workout you can do with me and we're going to kick it off with a brief bodyweight warm up consisting of four exercises, 40 seconds each for one round and we're going to start off with a frog to pike. So for your frog what we're going to do if you stand with your feet about shoulder width apart I want you to hold on to your toes. You're going to sink your hips down into that frog position, knees out, and we're ready to go. So you're going to stand up into that pike, pull your chest in towards your quads, and then sinking back down, knees out, chest up for the frog, and then hips high, drawing your chest in towards your quads for the pike. I'm holding on to the tips of my toes for this. I'm just going to continue between this frog and the pike. Your legs don't have to be fully straight for the pike. If it helps, you can just keep a slight bend in your knee as you draw your chest in, but we are looking to straighten up and feel the hamstrings during that pike. Okay, next I'm going to kneel down, but you can stand up. Put your hands behind your back. You're going to draw the elbows together reach round like a big angel wing up above your head come back round behind your back relax the elbows forwards and repeat so shoulder blades together hands nice big angel wing over your head coming back round behind your back and then relaxing forwards let's keep repeating this let's get one more in after this, we're going to be in a half kneeling position. Okay, onto one knee. We're going to do ankle circles. So you're going to put one hand on your heel, keeping your heel down. You're going to put the other one on top of your knee to add some pressure. And what we're going to try and do is we're going to try and put the knee as far forwards as you can, and then I'm rolling to the outside and round. So we're trying to close off the angle between the shin and switch sides. Close off the angle between the shin and the top of the foot as much as possible. Okay, next, standing up. Nice wide stance. We're going Cossacks. So you're going to come onto the heel of one foot, point the toe in the air, sinking nice and low, keeping the heel down on the bent leg. All right, great job. Okay, we're going to go into the main strength workout now. We're going to do five exercises, 40 seconds on, 20 seconds off for three rounds in total. We're going to start it off with something called a negative pike push-up. So it's called a negative pike push-up because we're only going to do the negative phase. Obviously, if you can do a full pike push-up, that's fine. We're going to focus on a nice five second lowering phase. And what we want is we want a tripod position. So if your hands about just wider than mat width for part. We're gonna make a shallow triangle between your head and your hand position. So slowly lower down. And then when you get here, drop to the knees, reset, straight into the next rep. So you're thinking five, four, three, two, one, hover, and then reset at the knees. On a nice high tailbone, you can have your knees slightly unlocked, that means keeping a flat back position on my tiptoes to give me a little bit extra elevation. You can do this with your feet elevated on a small box if you like. Always finish your rep. Great job, so working on that negative control. Okay, next up, it's gonna be a really tough one. You can do a one down, two up pistol. So we're gonna go down with one leg, we're going to come up with two and we're going to alternate sides. We're going to start off on one leg, down with one, and then up with two. If you've got something to elevate your heels with, it'll make it a little bit easier. 
You could even fold your mat under. Don't worry if you're not going quite as low as me. Just get as low as you can. So we're going one down, two up. So you might only be coming halfway down. That's absolutely fine for now. You can still come halfway down like this and then back up and then halfway down on the other side and then back up. As I said, if you've got something to elevate your heels, you'll make that one a little bit easier. Okay, moving on, you're gonna sit on your mat now. I'm gonna straighten the legs, I'm gonna point my toes. I'm gonna posture upright, put the fingertips on the floor, crawl them forwards a little bit. And then we're gonna lift both legs off the floor without moving my torso too much. So lifting up and down, going for these double leg compressions. Up, hold, and down. So I'm trying to keep as upright posture as I can manage. If you're more flexible than me, you might even be able to be leaning forwards more, but we're not trying to round the back too much. And we're definitely trying not to rock your body backwards as your feet lift off. Your torso should stay where it starts off. Okay, great job. Okay, now I'm gonna do some reverse Nordic. So I'm actually gonna double my mat up for this to give my knees a bit of a cushion. Come up into a nice tall position. Lock the glutes under, lock the ribs down and in. We're gonna lean back as far as we can and then come back up, maintaining this nice straight line. You feel the quads stretching. The mistake I see people make if they go a bit too far and then they end up shooting their hips back to get back to the top. I'm gonna to try and keep my glutes locked under, my ribs locked in, holding this neutral spine position. Just go as far as you're comfortable with. Always finish your rep, don't worry too much about the timer. Okay, next, the fifth and final exercise is gonna be a hollow hold. So you're gonna lie on your back. Now have the hands above your head. Your lower back's gonna stay on the floor. I want you to take your head and your shoulder blades off, legs off, you know, hold this position. So we're not balancing on your tailbone. I see some people doing that. Your lower back should be on the floor. You're just taking your head and your shoulders off slightly and brace, making sure you don't let any arch appear in your lower back. If you are feeling an arch and you're struggling, try bringing one knee into the chest. Okay, take 40 seconds off. There's one round done, two to go. As you can tell, that core hollow hold it takes a lot of strength, hence the wobbly voice. So we're gonna go back into those negative pike push-ups. I do encourage you to master the negative with really good control before moving on to the positive pushing phase as well. So let's see if we can ensure we're getting a nice five second negative. onto the tiptoes, hips high, slight unlock of the knees. You know, scoot forwards and then push them back. Try not to let the elbows be flaring out to the sides. Try and draw them back slightly towards the body. You should be able to see your toes through the whole lift. Great job. Okay, we've got those pistols. As I said, if it helps, you could 
fold your mat over to give you a slight heel elevation and it'll make those pistols a little bit easier on the ankle flexibility. So one down, two up. Well done, tough one. Okay, onto those double leg compressions that you're sitting on your mat. I'm gonna straighten my legs. I'm gonna posture upright, fingertips on the floor, crawling forwards. Just lifting off as high as you can. And we're compressing that center gap between your chest and your quads. Trying not to just rock backwards. I'm trying to keep my torso still. Tough one, okay. Again, I'm gonna fold the mat over to give me a little bit of cushion for these reverse Nordics. I'd rather you keep a straight line and not go as far than go too far and start scooting your hips back. Feeling the quads on this. Arms out for a bit of counterbalance forwards can help. Makes it a little bit easier. If you've got a band, you can actually hook a band around a rack, hold onto the band, and it gives you a little bit of support in that deepest position. Well done. Okay, onto the fifth exercise. Got those hollow holds. I'm not gonna talk through this one because it's too difficult, but make sure you keep your lower back nice and flat to the floor throughout and hold one knee in if you're struggling. If you're looking to level up your training and experience significant strength development, try my Calisthenics Evolution Plan, available as a one-off ebook and also included in the TPT Studio members area via the workout plan section. The plan includes four meticulously crafted reps and set style calisthenics workouts for optimal strength development. Each exercise includes beginner, intermediate and advanced options with video demos making it suitable for all abilities and giving you progressions to work up through. Check it out via the link in this video's description after your workout. Okay, five second negative. One, two, three, four, hover and reset. One, two, three, four, Hover and reset. Make sure you're not flaring the elbows out directly to the sides. Tuck them in a bit.
onto those one down, two up pistols. As I said, if you have got something to elevate your heels, whether it's a weight play, some wedges, or folding a mat up, it does make these a lot easier to do. One down, two up. We've got those double compressions. a really tough one for me especially if you've got tight hamstrings let's move on to these reverse nordics which i'm a little better at if you're struggling with shin tightness try putting some of a mat a rolled up mat underneath your shins it'll help out with that gap All right, we're on to our final set of the workout. I'm gonna do a nice, neat, hollow hold, keeping the lower back compressed into the floor. Well done, thanks so much for joining me. Let me know in the comments below, how did you find that and where in the world are you following along from? I truly do love to hear that. Here's a quick cool down stretch that you can do right now. And if you fancy moving it on a bit, here's the advanced 20 minute version of this routine that you can try. I'll see you again soon for another one.